this notion of the world being a data intensive place. He is the nerd, he is the wonk, which takes this attitude to the most extreme degree, applies it to everything he can, has set up his own media project, is seeing it through with every ounce of his being, every part of his life, everything he writes, and he truly, really means it. And that makes him a perfect guest for Conversations with Tyler. Nate is a genius. He has revolutionized our understanding of elections and how to predict them. He is fascinated with having a better sense of how the weather will be tomorrow or how to win at poker or baseball analytics. There is no Nate Silver group. Nate Silver is unique. And I think having grown up unique gives him an understanding of how groups interact. And he's actually used that. He's integrated his social intelligence with his numerical intelligence in a way where people maybe only see the numerical intelligence, but it's the integration that's his real contribution. How he thinks about life. What are we in life doing wrong? How are we screwing up? How can we do better? Not just the areas he studied, but how does he take that knowledge, try to generalize it? What are the pitfalls? What are the limitations and advantages to thinking statistically? And what is it in his personal biography that led him to the point he's at? Ten years from now, will we be able to predict the weather every day in advance? Yes or no? And if not, why not? How many systems in the world are nonlinear? What is the most underrated statistic in assessing a baseball player? And what will you do if, in fact, Donald Trump goes on to win the Republican presidential nomination? With all of the people I'm interviewing, their underlying consistency that they work in different areas or do different things in life but have a common philosophy behind it. And I want to try to pull out what is his common philosophy, a kind of small steps to a better world sense of how we can actually improve on all the ways we're screwing up in so many different parts of life. And sports is the first, but it's politics is one of the biggest. But then every other area, how we bet, how we think, how we make decisions, how we measure, and again, how we listen and learn.